Hello, everybody. It's good afternoon from here. Or good morning, good evening, depending on the time that you come back to watch this video. So, my name is at Amazon. And this is my YouTube channel. Thank you for tuning in today. I hope you've been having a very really great weekend. I'm recording this on the 17th of February, 2023, and it's a Friday. How is the Friday all going for you? Thank God it's Friday. Anyway, back to today's business. If today is the first time that you're stumbling on my channel please don't forget to subscribe to this channel turn on the bell notifications and um let's get rolling in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you something very important something that i got to see recently that is going to help you especially if you are a publisher if you're a graphic designer or whatever it be if you work with graphics basically and if you design book covers this is going to be especially helpful for you now what i'm going to be showing you is more or less how to use ai to create book covers and it's going to be very important for people who write fiction books and self-help non-fiction too can benefit from this but especially for those who write fiction books this too will be help you articulate better the cover designs that you have in mind and this is also important for people who want to do it themselves. If you don't have the resources you know, to hire a very good graphic designer, you can use this to, to create excellent book covers that we do well, whether on Amazon or whatever platform it is that you hope to publish on. Now, the tool we're going to be using is a tool that is available to everybody for free. It's a tool that is available to everybody for free. And unlike the platforms you already know where you can generate images with ai that have limited uses this particular one does not have limits as to how you use it but the only limit it has is the limit you place on yourself that is the limit of your imagination so without further ado i'm going to be sharing my screen right now to show you exactly what this tool is and like i said it's a tool that you already have but you probably do not know that this exists. And what is that tool? That tool is no other tool than Canva. Canva, yes, Canva. Canva now has a very, very amazing um, tool embedded in it that helps you and I, that helps people like you and I who already use this tool to create stunning images using AI. Now you can see that Canva just you know, reach a milestone of 15 billion designs. And this is one of the reasons why they keep getting people turning on to their um, app and then creating more because they keep on innovating. And this innovation will help a lot of us do more. So I'm not going to waste too much time. I just want to show you how this works, right? I just want to show you how this works. So if at this point you have not yet liked this video, please hit the like button, you know, smash the subscribe button if you have not subscribed already. And Let's go right in as I show you. Now, to design book covers, right? One of the first things I do as a designer of book covers is um, I'm going to show you this the one of the like the easiest ways, like the easiest ways to, to get about this. I'm more like an improvement to what you already know. So if you want to design a book cover using Canva, one of the first things you do is just come here and you click on create a design, right? Click on create a design. Now, when you click on create the design, next thing I want you to do at the point here where you see search is to just search for book, just write book. Yeah, so search book, you see that the first thing that comes out is book cover. So that's what I want you to click. And the reason why I am asking you to click this is because of the size and the dimension. You can see here that it says 1410 by 2250. Now, on Amazon, if you want to publish books, the list size you can use that helps the book, you know, pop and gets better view is 1000 on the width by 1500 on the length. If you publish a book cover and it is less than this dimension, sometimes it doesn't go through. Or when it goes through, it hardly or it doesn't even appear on your book description page. So if you have experience, that's error before when you have uploaded the cover but it's not showing on your amazon page amazon book description page this is likely the reason 
why it is so. The dimension of the cover you have uploaded is not the recommended size, or it is below what is expected of you to upload. So go back and make the adjustments and get it. Now, and if you want me to show you how you can edit your cover so that it you can either upscale the size or reduce the size, let me know in the comments. And I'm going to do a new tutorial to show you how to work with your book covers in a way that is most accepted. But for this video, let's go as I show you quickly how this is done. So click on book cover. I had to make that clarification because I know that there are different sets of people watching this video at this moment. So I needed to make it open and clear here. All right, so just give it a second to load. I'll show you two ways that covers are created on Canva. Two ways. And I think when I show you these two ways, you'll be able to now know why it is important that you learn how to use this AI embedded in Canva to create your cover design. Now, the reason why we chose book cover in the first place is that the moment you, you open the canvas like this, you see normally on this point where you see design, design, this design is more or less giving you templates that already exist on Canva. Now, one of the fastest ways to create book covers however, is using templates, right? Is using templates. But with templates, a lot of people have access to these templates already. And except you already have some level of design thinking on your mind before coming here, it's going to be a little bit challenging for you to work with this template because sometimes when you come here, you are at a loss for how to go ahead using this template. But if you understand how to use templates, Templates are actually the easiest ways to create covers on Canva. They're actually the easiest ways to create cover on Canva. Or create covers on Canva, like your button. Now, but um, using AI will help us simplify the process. But templates are actually the easiest ways to do that. Because if I want to say I want to use this, for instance, I just have to click on it. And it, it pops up on my design, as you can see. All I need to do now is to replace this content here with what my book title is. It removed all of this and puts the author's name here or put the author's name here. And if I want to change any scenario design, I can also do that. This is this kind of design is good if you are writing a a, a book on say business proposals, you know, research, research, uh, research and grant writing, all of these kind of covers. Are good for them. Anything very formal, you know, these kind of covers are good templates to use. However, we're not using templates for this design. So I'm going to just quickly show you how to use AI to design your book covers. Now, this is a tool already here. But most of you do not know that it exists because when this update are done, they're not only really publicized, just takes some level of discovery for you to know. Now, this is where these two actually is embedded. Now, you can see, you just, now, at this panel here, I just, just have to scroll down a little bit. And you can see this option here, text to image. Now, it's showing text to image here because I already have been using this tool. But if you are coming here for the first time, click on this um, set of squares, I think, Three, three, the nice squares just that has an inscription apps just click on that now when you click on that it's not going to open up a a panel for you like this now you can see that it's showing text to image here because i already use it for you who have not been using it it's just scroll down a little bit just come to this button you see create something new you will see different um different tools here text to image bitmoji and the rest so what i want you to click is text to image so once you click on text to image, it comes up like this. I'm sure some of you have seen something like this, maybe in one of the other tools you use. But for this tool, I want to show you exactly how it's done. Now, for this particular tutorial, I've written down a topic, a book title that I want to use. And this book title, I have not written any book about it before. So I just want to see how we can do this together. Now, the book title I'm going to be using is fictional actually remember i said if you're writing a fiction book you are most likely going to enjoy using this tool so 
what I'm going to be using is the title is he dies in the end. He dies in the end. Now, before I go ahead to create this cover, I want to show you a few things. This is the this is the overall panel that describes what you want to do. Before you go ahead to use it, try as much as possible to read through and see how exactly it is done because this particular tool works best when you give it the right prompts, right? So it says use brand new technology to create any image you can describe. So you are, the best way to get results from this is to describe what you actually want. So you are going to get results to the extent to which you can be able to describe what it is you want. Now you can see some of the inspiration given here. It says a panda riding a bike to a city with depth of field. The limit of your use case in this stuff is actually the limit of your imagination. So I'm going to create this right now and I want you to see how I go about it. Two ways to get this. You can either use the book title here, just type in the book title and describe some part of the plot for this book title or you can use the book description or the blog of your book. You can just come here, type in everything or write in you know, one or two sentences that are really intriguing in the book description. You paste it here and then you select the style to which you want the book to appear. Concept art, photo related, you no know, painting, drawing, 3D pattern, and so on and so forth. But I'm going to show you how I use this tool. Now, using the title of my book, He Dies in the End, I'm I'm going to now include something else. Um, let me let me quickly write this. I I would say a fiction, a fictional book titled then I'll do this, he dies in the end. Now, I always like to use concept art because concept art bring out a kind of feel for me for the cover. I prefer to use concept art. When you are exploring this, you can decide to use any other one you want. But for me, I prefer to use concept art because of the way it feels and the way it looks. I'm, uh, I'm, and I'm going to show you why I choose to use concept art. You are going to see it. Now, I'm going to now select style concept art. Now, it is not compulsory for you to choose a style. You can decide to go ahead and use it without choosing a style. And the tool is going to generate different styles for you. But in order to save my time and the ability to decide quickly, I usually choose concept. Then I always choose portrait because my covers are portrait. If you leave it as square, your cover, your output is not going to come out in a way that it will fit for a book. I choose landscape. Of course, you know, that's going to be the other way around. So after I've done that, first of all, I included my prompt. I selected the style. I selected the aspect ratio. Then I'll click on generate image. I hope you, you have been following me. If you have been following up to this point and you have not liked this video yet, please come on, like the video. If you have not subscribed, you're a new person watching this video at this time, please do well to subscribe. And as we continue in this journey together. Now, let me see if I can um, zoom in for you to see. Okay, before I zoom in, I'm going to now pick, you can see that I, four images have been generated for me. I'm going to put all of them. I'm going to create four different um, planes. I'm going to create four different planes and paste all of these here. Now, why am I doing this? Is so that we can be able to see what the cover looks like, yeah? Now look at this. Let's, let's look at this. Is what I was able to create. Now this is the first cover, or the first image that was generated for me. You can see the clouds, you know, and something like, like a creature. I don't know what that is, but I think this is nice. Then this also was created for me. You can see this. It was already created like a book already. It was created like a book already, and although. The way it came out, I'm sure it's because I used the the word book here that it created something for me like a mock-up already. But I don't want the mock-up. I don't want the mock-up here. Anyway, so 
Let's look at the, the third. You could see. Then look at the fourth. Uh, let's see. You can see it's already created something like an action. Action themed book. Or something like that. So now I'll, I'm going to leave this. And then I'll create. I'll generate another. You can see you can generate more. If you are not happy or comfortable with what you see. Now I want to generate another. But this time I will change this word. From book to story. I'll change that to story. And then I'll click on generate more. So let's see what else we are going to get. Now remember, I'm, this is a tutorial. I'm trying to show you how else you can, you know, work around your, you know, your prompts. So that you can get the real results that you deserve. So uh, if you're using your mobile phone to watch this video, you can also do all of this using the Canva app. So this also exists right there. So now we have, I'm going to create four other pages where I'm now going to, um, you know, put in these other covers that we have just gotten. I'm going to do that. Then I'll do that for this and I'll do that for this. Great. Now let's, let's zoom in again and see what we have just created. Now look at this. Look at this. Um, like the a person, some kind of glory, yeah, um, castle somewhere, the trees. Then there's another, some birds flying. You know, a guy or a lady, whatever, in a small canoe. You know, riding the sea. Remember, this is a fiction story. So, and there you see, this is another a person, you know, with with a ship here, the moon, and all of that, and so on and so forth. Now, in order not to waste much time, you know, going about trying to figure out which we should use, I know that um, that we have quality, nice designs here, and if you allow me, I may decide to use all of them to write different books. You know, this can just form a different book title. I can just think of a book title, you know, and write, just place that book, that's a title on this book. Now, I, but this, I want to delete this because it comes, it came out as a mock-up. So it's not going to be very useful to me. So all of these kind of quality designs, you can, you can see, I can, I can write this to, to say, um, maybe because of the, the action here, I can see, um, I don't know. I don't know what to even say. Anyway, let's just move on. <laughs> Let's move on. So I'm going to pick a design. Ah, which is uh, this is quite even difficult to choose from. Um, let's see, let's see. So I'm going to choose from this and and this. Okay, let me let me use this because this looks more fascinating. This looks more fascinating for me. So what I'm going to do, do quickly, quickly, so that we can wrap up this. Uh, tutorial is that I'll just right click on the image, right click on this image, and I'll click on set as background, set image as background. That's what I'll do. Now, if I click on set image as background, you can see that it's automatically, you know, expanded itself to fill up the entire size, you know, of the canvas here. So, what I'm now going to do next is now look at this. I have this as my, as my um, cover sheets. So I'm going to now put some text. I'm going to now put some text on this. I'm going to put some text on this. So uh, one of the easiest ways again to get your designs nice and and and, and okay is just go scroll down into BG. You see some already already designed your know, text templates that you can quickly use instead of thinking about you know inverting the wheel, trying to do everything from from scratch. You can just look at what is you have here. And pick anyone that um, resonates with what it is that you want. So let me use this. I'll we'll just click on that, and it's going to appear here, right for me. So what I will just do is I'll click and edit this. So I'll write here. I'll write he dies in the end. So I will now delete this. This. Remove all of this. 
they let me ungroup so that they can have just that style to stand in. Okay. Now I would want to expand a little bit. That's the end. I'll expand a little bit. Okay. The dice in the end. So I would like to just reduce. Now this is where you get creative and just do stuff that um, can make your design shine. No? Just do stuff that will make your design shine or pop. All right. So I would like to make everything centralized. I like to make everything centralized, put everything in the middle. Then I would like to increase the size of this word end because I like it. So I'll make this 200. Okay, great. Then I like to reduce this further to say 80. Then I'd like to increase the line difference just so that we have okay then i'd like to make this capital letter okay then i would like to increase a little bit just so we have some kind of show yeah okay great now i would like to make the word end so be in a different color, maybe red, maybe red. Let's see if red is okay. Okay, great. Red. I think red is fine. Now you can see, I will just change whatever this, whatever is here to let's use set Amazon as the author of this book. Now I don't know if this book exists or not, but I think it does. But this is for illustration purposes, and I don't intend to publish this book. So, so I'm going to just do this, increase the size. Let's see, let's make this 100. Um, 100 looks too large. So let's make it 50. 50, 50. 50 should be good. Then I can put this here as a title, as the author of the book. Or maybe take it to the top here. Bring this a little bit downwards. Leave this here. Then change the text style. Change the style. Change the font style to this. Is that okay? Put it. Make it a little bit bold. And we are good. Excellent design. Can't you see? It dies in the end. Oh, come on. So I think with this, we have words we can get ahead to use. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to download this design, this cover design right now and show you exactly how it looks. I'm going to, I'm going to download it, turn it into a mock-up and show you exactly how it looks. This is design six. So I'm going to, I'm going to download design six down. No, turn it to JPG. Download. Oh, great. Oh, great, great, great. Excellent. So we have our design and I'm going to show you now how it looks as a book mock-up. Just give me a sec to show you exactly how it looks as a book mock-up. I'm going to now show you how it looks like in a mock-up. You guys know what mock-up is now. 3D representation of your book cover. So um, just I'm going to now go to this website. Website smart mockups.com. Smart mockup.com. One very amazing website that we use to create book mockups. So after I've created gone to this website, I will just hover my mouse on print, then click on books. So you see tons and tons of, you know, mockups that you can use. So in order not to waste my time, what I just do, I try to filter the options here. First of all, I click on 
bought three books, then I go to free mockups, then I select it. Just because I know exactly what I want. However, for you, you can choose to um, just look through and see whichever design it is that you want that suits your book. Right? So um, I'll click on free because I want my, I want to use a, a free mockup. Then I'll click on isolated. Isolated means that there will be no image attached to the book. As you can see what we have here, or oh, there are no premium um, designs that I'll have to pay for. All of these designs are free. And you can see that the books are standing up. So there is one I always want to use, this last one, this very last one here. Yeah. I'll just click on it right now. Then I will go to um, this part that says upload from. I'll click on upload from. Then click on upload image. Now, mind you, you can also use your mobile phone for all of this tutorial. Everything you see me doing on this video, you can do with your mobile phone. But using a PC, of course, makes the work easier. Yeah, so that's just it. Then I'm going to now select the image we have just designed. I you will see what it looks like. Now, this is my book cover. Isn't this beautiful? And this is my book cover that we created using the AI. So I'm going to download this. I'll download. And have that stored in my device. So I'm going to also use another tool. I'm going to use another tool to also create this mock-up. However, if you want to learn how to do this, I've created a full tutorial about how to create book mock-ups for your book covers. And you can just check on the, the link, you know, somewhere around this video. I'm going to leave it for you to watch. You can learn how to use different methods, different websites to create different kinds of book mock-ups. So um, this brings us to the end of this tutorial. But before I end the tutorial, let me open the mock-up we have just created and let me show you how it looks like. So I'm going to end it. I'm going to end sharing and then so that I can be able to share. So this is what our book mock-up look like. Yeah, so I've created the book from start to end, and you see the way the process actually went. Now, if you found this tutorial helpful, and you think that it is something that you would love to explore, why don't you leave a comment below and tell me what part of the tutorial actually was intriguing for you. So, I hope you found value from this training. If you did, please go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel. And... Feel free to tell me in the comments which video you want me to create next. What exactly you are experiencing? What challenge you are experiencing in your book publishing journey? What video would you want me to create next for you so that you can be able to get real results for the effort you put in? Don't let me know in the comments and I will try my best, my very, very possible best to put up that video for you. Thank you very much. Don't forget that here we write, we publish. And we end. So to your publishing success, I am set Amazon. I'm signing out. Peace. Bye.